Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and today we are going to talk on a very important topic which is second mates. From last few weeks I have been observing that we have been getting a lot of comments and DMs on how to clear second mate exams, what all courses are there, how much money is required. So let's today discuss about this. In this video I'm going to talk about everything you need to know as a cadet that how you have to become a third officer from a cadet to a third officer. So let's start today's video. So first we will talk about the roadmap. So suppose if you have done DNS which is Diploma in Nautical Science one year course. So first of all you have to complete your course which is your pre -C. After that if you have done BSc then you have to complete your BSc and then you have to do your C going service. For DNS candidates it's 18 months, for BSc it's 12 months. After that on ship you will get few books and few notebooks and all those things from the college. Uh, which is given by IMU and all, you have to make projects on oil tanker, chemical, bulk carrier, you have to complete all these things, take signature of captain, chief officer and the concerned officers and that's how you complete your SSTP. Then you do the assessment of your SSTP and TRB, that is your credit record book, TAR record book, that will be done by your company and your college, okay? And then you take your C going service letter from your company and then you do the assessment and everything and then you do second mate course which is a four month course and some other courses of 10 days, 5 days, 12 days like GM this and all which we will discuss later on in this video and then you are eligible for second mates exam. So first complete your pre-C, then complete your C time with your TRB, SSTP and all then complete, uh, then take your all the documents like C, C going later then complete your seven courses okay which we will discuss and then you can finally apply for second mates exam. So let's start what all courses you have to do. Okay, so there are seven courses which is GMDSS, ROC, ARPA, NDIS, MFA, PSC, RB and AFF. So these are the courses which you have to do. So the first course we are, I'm going to talk about is GMDSS. So for this course, uh, you should uh, have a CDC passport and your pre-C. Okay, that's uh, the only requirement for GMDSS. But I will suggest you guys once you have completed your five, six months, after that you should do this course okay uh, this will help you a lot uh, in your cadetship you will learn a lot from this plus when you're going to apply appear for second minutes it will save you 15 to 20 days and uh, make sure you book your course in advance because dates in GMDSS it's very hard to find and you can book your courses from stcwcoursefinder.com Pohot easily you can find courses over here and you just have to select your course your state your city and the month and it will display the courses happening in the city you have selected for. So first course is GM. This is the fees for this course is 20,000 to 35,000. It totally depends upon the institute to institute. For me, I paid 32,500 for this course. And then you have to apply for GOC. GOC is basically a booklet, which is uh, of two types. First one is for 20 years and second one is for lifetime. So I have applied for a lifetime. I had a lifetime one. I have a lifetime one. So uh, it costed me 15,000 and then when you appear for your second mates oral, after you have appeared for oral, then you have to do the endorsement of the GSA, GOC, which cost you another 3,000 rupees. So that was all about GMDS. Now let's talk about other courses. So the next course which you have to do is ROC, Radar Observer Simulator course. The basic requirement for this is you have to do 12 months of C time. Okay. And you should have three months in bridge watch so that's the requirement for this so i'll say to you if you have 12 months of c time it's better to do this course uh before second mates so that you can uh, appear for orals in blind then once you have completed roc uh, let's talk about the duration so the duration uh, the duration for gmdss i forgot to tell, uh, tell about that is 12 days so it will take two weeks monday to saturday and monday to saturday and then you'll have an exam of three days after that you have roc which is a course of 10 days another 10 days Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. Okay, then you have an exam which will be conducted by your institute and it's not that much hard. But the exam for GMDS is very hard. Let's talk about that in some other video. And the fees will be around 6,000 to 9,500 depending upon the college to college. The next course is ARPA, Automatic Radar Plotting Aid. So it's a part of radar only ARPA. So then you will do ARPA and for ARPA, you should have a valid certificate of ROC plus 12 months of C time. So I'll suggest to you first shift ke baad you do GMDSS after second shift after your 12 months you can do ROC or PI and this because <coughs> these courses does not have any validity that you have to do it in 5 years, 2 years, 10 years. So it's better to clear uh, to complete them as early as possible. So then you have to do ARPA which is another 5 days course and cost around 4,500 to 6,000 
and last course in this section ROC ARPA then we have is NDISC so NDISC is kind of a Google Maps for seafarers where there's a computer okay computer screen and on that uh, we have our routes charts and everything so this course you have to do but before NDISC you have to do ROC and ARPA in 12 months of C time so once you complete your 12 months for do ROC ARPA and NDISC in the fees cost from 55,000 to 9,000 rupees okay and it is again for five days so once you have completed these four courses, GMDSS, ROC, ARPA, NDIS, now you have to do three other advanced courses. In your college time, you would have done FPFF, PST, EFA. So they were basic courses. Now you have to do advanced version of it. Why? Because now you are going as a third officer, okay? Earlier you were a cadet, but now you will have a new responsibility. So you have to do an advanced level of it. So you have to do PSCRB, a five days course. Depending upon college to college, 3000 to 9000, then you have to do AFF, 4 days of course, die uh, 2500 12000, MFA at last, the fees is 3900 to 6500. So these are the courses which you have to do and after that, you have to do second mates function course. And these courses you can do up down also, okay, it's not mandatory that first you have to do GMDS, then ROC, then ARPA. It totally depends upon you, whichever course you are getting first, do that first, don't waste your time, okay. So then you have to do second mate function course, which is the course of four months. So this course is only for DNS candidates, okay. Basic candidates don't have to do this course of four months, only this is for DNS candidates. And in this, you will be taught about all the things you have studied in your DNS and what all is the pattern of second mates exam, what is what all type of questions are going to come in exam, and everything about that. You'll have six to seven subjects, is k returns you are going to give. And the fees for this is 32,000 to 50,000. I paid around 42 for this, so it varies upon college to college. And once you have completed your course, okay, this course, once you have completed, then you have to apply for assessment in your MMD, whatever MMD you are choosing. For me, the nearest was Noida and I did my courses from FOSMA Noida. So I applied for Noida MMD, okay. So you have to apply for assessment for which you have to pay another 3000 rupees. Don't need to calculate it right now. In the end of the video, I will tell you the whole summary, how much I have paid for second mates, okay. So now let's talk about the checklist what all documents you need for applying for a second rates exam okay so first of all you need the assessment copy basically the application uh, the application which you have filled for assessment you have to do that then you have to take form 29 form 29 is available in your e-governance it shows your courses you have done your c time and everything okay then c service later you have to take c service later from your company then article of agreement. This article of agreement is only for Indian flag vessels. So the people who are selling in Indian company, this point is only valid for those people. And number five is valid for cadets who are selling in another companies like Anglo, Tom Tankers and all these companies. So for me, fourth point was not valid, uh, eligible, fifth was eligible. Okay. Then point six, SSTP completion certificate. You will get a certificate of SSTP completion from your college. You will send your SSTP and all and your projects to college. And then they will take a small test of you. They will ask you a few questions and then they will give you the SSTP. Okay. Then you should have a valid medical. Okay. For me, the medical for my last ship worked because the validity of medical is two years. So if your medical is expired, you have to do that medical again. Essential pages of credit record book. So your few pages of credit record book, you have to take out a photocopy of like your first page, second page where all the signatures are there, your chief officer remarks and all those things. Okay. A record of six month bridge watch keeping duties. This is not that much required now because your C service letter is covering all those things. Okay. DJS approved pre-C, you will have your DNS or BSC certificate over here. Then you will have class 12. Then you have PST, EFA, FPFF, P PSSR, all these certificates of all these basic courses which you have done during your pre-C. Then relevant pages of your CDC which is your first page, uh, details of your C service and your last page where your next of kin and all is there. Then you have your passport first and last page where your photo and address is there. The indos copy, the copy of your indos, your indos, indos profile basically. And second mate four months job uh, course will be there. You'll get a you'll get a what you call certificate from the college for example i got it from noida uh, MMD, uh, i got it from frost Noida that this candidate has done a course of four months which is functions and a passing certificate for that so all these are required 
for foreign going written exam okay so we have already talked about this so this is only required for written now let's talk about orals this is for this section this much is for those who are going from rating uh, so this much is for this now we'll talk about orals so this one is not mandatory for returns if you give well and good if you don't give no problem okay with this you have to take yes 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 here and your principal of the college will sign over here like this that all these documents i have checked and then your file will go to mmd okay you have to courier it okay now this part is for orals so when you are applying for orals if you are booking the file if you are uh, booking the exam together for returns and orals then you have to give all these certificates also like your roc arpa ndis mfa your gmds is all those exam certificates or all those courses certificate those seven advanced courses you have to give okay now let's talk about the important part what is the pattern of the exam so in second mid exam there are six returns three orals and one signal exam and how much money is required so let's talk about this also so for returns the fees is 3000 this is for one time okay so first we have cn celestial navigation the passing marks is 140 next we have metrology 50 percent passing marks 50 out of 100 next we have tcn the passing marks is again 140 and then at the last we have bridge which is 100 out of 200 why i have said last because this all is the part of function one okay now let's talk about function two cargo handling and storage and this is function three stability okay so that's how the paper is divided into uh, three parts f1 f2 f3 navigation cargo and stability so for uh, navigation i have told you for cargo it's 120 and for ship construction is again 120 now suppose i have filled in one exam which was bridge equipment so i filled in number four and in others i have passed so i'll have to pay 1000 more okay now suppose i have filled in four exams which were cn metro tcn again i have to pay how much thousand why because i have just filled in f1 okay so you have to pay thousand for f1 thousand for f2 and thousand for f3 and that's how the total becomes three thousand if i would have failed in ship construction then i would have to pay one thousand more okay so that's how the things work for returns now let's talk about orals again oral is divided into three parts navigation cargo and controlling the operation of the ship and care of the personnel so the fees for each oral is thousand rupees in total it's three thousand okay and for signal you don't have to pay anything extra your receipt of function one works over here okay but suppose i have booked the signal for the month of september okay but my f1 was booked for august then i have to pay extra for signals then my receipt will not work then i'll have to pay thousand rupees for signals extra so that was all about this video that how much we have to spend now i'll give you an analysis of how much i spent let's go so talking about gmd says i paid thirty two thousand five hundred for the course and 1500 for my GOC, okay, which the total was 47,500. Then I did ROC, ARPA, EGDIS, which was 25,000. Then I did MFA, PSC, RB, and AFM, which was 18,000. Then second mid functions of four months, I paid 42,000. Then assessment, returns, and orals, I paid 9,000, okay. Then comes the big part stay for seven months this course is of 12 days this course is of almost one month okay this is again around three weeks and this is for four months so it all becomes around six to seven months then because you have to give your returns and all you'll have to stay in the same city so it costed me around eighty-four thousand when i'm taking the average of twelve thousand for those who are from noida and they're choosing their mmd as noida or those who are from mumbai and they're choosing their mmd as mumbai so this money will be saved for them okay but for me i had to pay this money because i was staying in noida and then for gmds is goc endorsement i had to pay three thousand and for sstp it varies my college was in lonavla so i had to go to mumbai to my company i had to take my c service letter then i traveled to lonavla then i came back so i had to spend around eight thousand five six i spent on train and then hotel and everything so my total came to two lakh thirty six thousand five hundred but 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 now comes the real crash i have just cleared my second mates exam recently 10 days back 
and I would like to tell you guys that now I am starting my two more courses, basically three more courses, which is Tasco, which is advanced course for oil tanker, then Chemco, and then I am doing LCHS, which is liquid cargo handling simulation course. And this is costing me around 35,000. And this 38,000 is apart from this. And if somebody wants to do Gasco also, then again, they'll have to spend 12,000 rupees extra. Plus, I'll have to stay for one month and 10 days in Noida. So that will another cost me around 15 to 20,000. So I think, according to me, this comes to around 3 lakhs total. The grand total comes to 3 lakhs because traveling, you'll travel to your hometown many times. In my four month of function, I Travel from Noida to Dehradun like five, four or five times. Then I had to travel from my flat to my college and then other traveling. And then you'll go and roam around with your friends and you'll do a lot of shopping when you are from, suppose I, I was from Dehradun. I went to Noida and now I'm, uh, and then after visiting Noida, sometimes I'm shopping in Sarojini. Sometimes guy, go, guys are going to eat momos and all those things. So SB money is a waste. Hota hai. Yeah, so mota mota you'll have to save around 3 lakh rupees. So it is a suggestion from my side that try to save money of at least last ship plus 2-3 months extra. So if your stipend is around $500 and you'll save around four to $5,000, that will help you a lot. You will not have to ask your parents or your friends for the money. I as a person of age of 25 years old, it will be very embarrassing for me when I'll ask my parents, Ki, Papa, Mama, I want 50000 for a course. So I'll ask you guys, I'll suggest you guys that during your cadetship, try not to buy an iPhone, not to buy a luxury car or bike or something extra, something expensive. Try to save that money and invest in your second mates. Okay. Because at this time, I'm not even 3 lakhs. It can go up to 3.5 lakhs also. If you are not, if you guys are not going to save your money wisely, because I'll tell you about one of my friends when we started function together. He was in, he was putting a lot of money in clubbing and all and all those things. And at the end, he had to ask people for the money. And to be very honest, nobody was giving him money apart uh, except from his parent. So I'll say to try to save money from the very first ship of yours. I saved a lot of money from my first ship, but uh, at the last, I also had to ask. For the money from the people because my education loan is going on so the students who have taken education loan there is going to be another problem for them so try to save your money from the first day of your cadetship that was all about today's video thank you so much if you guys have any question you can comment down that in the comment section and we will be answering that in very next video thank you